Yeah, you guys can take the loser's way. If you're using a ground mount, I'm gonna fly there. Once I'm out of this goddamn tree. <laughs> Shit. There we go. Please be advised, the following presentation is not intended for minors. Alright, so, what the fuck is up with your culture Go then? Where the Titans uplifted four wards. The Council Ward, the Storm Ward, the Stone Ward, and the High Speaker. To keep the Edicts and build the so Corway I'm guessing that's what the four and chairs fortress, represent. Dornigal. But the Titans left, and the machines stopped. The Unbound abandoned the Edicts, and the High Speaker retreated to the Ringing Deeps. And now, the Machine Speakers are cut off from us, and we have no means to fix the Corway. But you have a Machine Speaker with you. With me done, uh, uh, Anduin weakened, and Illyria nowhere to be found, it's up to us, Jaxic, to clear the way for Thrall and Jaina's army if we hope to strike back at the Nerubians and Zalatath. But we cannot get to the Nerubians without the Corway, and we cannot repair the Corway without the Earthen's help. If Merix thinks this, uh, Aldegon and her Unbound are the only ones that can fix the Corway, then we need to find her. Time to sharpen me smile and put on my diplomat hat. You with me, Jaxic? All right. We will Diplomacy, ho! If Merrix wasn't Council Ward, I would have never agreed to do this. You do not grasp the magnitude of her betrayal, Outlander. I have no hope for our success. Yeah, well, Moira is really good at talking to people. This should be interesting. Oh, this place is actually pretty big. Personal directive. Prioritize the wounded. We cannot fight if. Oh yeah, female earthen have beards. Another by the way, from the crash. I'm a lot of people are not happy of about the dark that. Iron and bronze beard. Bale Grim. Stone Ward. I am not. The Stone Ward, you know that. I know you abandoned your post. And you abandoned us. The Corway was attacked. It must be repaired. We were attacked too. You should have protected us. <clears throat> I can see there is some uh, history between you. But if you haven't noticed, the Nerubians have you both in their sights. You need each other. Age-old drama or not. The Nerubian attack, your meteoric fall, and now Belgrim is here. Belgrim needs more hands for his corway, but I couldn't help even if I wanted to. My people are dying as we speak. Some were abducted by the Nerubians during the attack. You're not the first outlander I've met. A small fellow like Moira arrived here earlier and wasted no time following the Nerubians. He took the path west to a nearby cave. I've been your dead if you found my people. Alright, so we're gonna do our first delve. Ah, oh, this will be fun. Alright, so dwells are essentially like the new uh, end game for like solo players, pretty much. They're pretty much like solo dungeons. Inquiring minds just got to know. Ah, uh, Jaxic, uh, can I express how relieved I am to see you again? I went exploring and found uh, Freewold Village. They've been attacked by Nerubians just before I arrived. I think the attack happened around the same time as the Corway and Dalaran attacks. Now, uh, the smacks a coordinated effort. Brian sighs. These Earthen need our help, but I cannot do it alone. And who knows? We might find other things of interest. So, how about it? Alright, let's, let's go do this delve. Alright, what do you got? Ah, okay. So, I'm a tank, so. I have a lot of survivability because, like, my gear is pretty good because of, you know, uh, Remix. So I'm gonna have you as a damage dealer for now. Alright, Dark Souls Fog Gate, let's go. Uh, webs reduce movement by 50% and periodically spawn ambushes while standing within. Okay. Do not stand in the webs, got it. You must aid us, the Nerubians have taken their miners hostage. It's not a coincidence that we were uh, targeted right after the Corway was destroyed. After all, we are the ones who can repair it. 
Help me traverse the mines, rescue my colleagues, and defeat these Nerubians. In exchange, I'll give you access to a treasure cache deeper in the mines. Ah, uh, this is what I need the hookshot for. Oh, fucking console port, come on. There we go. Oh, shit! Okay, so this has, like, Torgar stuff in it. While in combat, a magnetic loader has a chance to assist you, pulling enemies towards it for five seconds before exploding for a shit ton of fire damage. It only happened once every 20 min- uh, 20 minutes. Two minutes. Nice fight! That's pretty sick. Oh, I got some bismuth. Fuck yeah, bismuth. If you've never seen bismuth before, I- like, check it out. It looks fucking rad. Like, it just naturally occurs like that. Like, how? See, we rescued the rest of the miners, but we're still at risk as long as the Nerubian's general remains. Let's push forward together and shut down these aggressors. Well, there goes Xerix. I'm guessing he's gonna be, like, just a thorn in our side for a while and not just a guy that showed up once. Hey, I didn't stand there. That spawned underneath me. Ow! Hey, completed a build! Oh, and I reached level 71. I can do my hero talents now. Hell yeah. Okay, so. Hero talents. What do we got? Of Colossus and Mountain Thane. Let's see. Veteran of countless battles who can shrug off attacks that would fell others while using their expertise to deliver the most powerful strikes and destroy their enemies. That seems like what I want for this character. Mountain Thanes are fierce fighters that live to challenge themselves against worthy opponents, drawing strength from the earth and power from the storm. Okay, this is very clearly, like, dwarven shit. They strike with blows that hit like a thunderclap to overwhelm their enemies. Okay, yeah, we're going with Colossus. Demolish. Unleash a series of precise and powerful strikes against your target, dealing damage to it. Uh, and damage to enemies within 8 yards of it. Ooh. Deals reduced damage beyond 8 targets. While channeling Demolish, you take 10% less damage and are immune to stuns, knockbacks, and forced movement effects. You can block, parry, dodge, and use certain defensive abilities while channeling Demolish. Seems pretty cool. So, what I need to do is, like, just get down to the bottom as quickly as possible. Because, like, once we hit max level, I'll have, like, all of these. But, like, apparently the, like, best skills are, like, the first one and the last one. So what do we get? Dominance of the Colossus. Colossal Might now stacks up to ten times. If you would gain a stack of Colossal Might and a max stacks, the cool... Uh, max stacks. The cooldown of Demolish is reduced by two seconds. Enemies affected by Demolish take up to 20% more damage from you and deal up to 5% less damage to you for 10 seconds, based on the number of stacks of Demolish and uh, Colossal Might consumed by Demolish. BIG DAMAGE! That seems pretty cool. Critical strike damage to your abilities is increased by 10%, the amount of damage blocked by your critical blocks is increased by 20%. Colossal Might increases damage dealt by your Demolish by 10%, stacking up to 5 times. Uh, shield slam and execute grant a stack of colossal might and revenge grants a stack of colossal uh, colossal might when it strikes three or more targets. Shockwave stun's duration is increased by one second, reduces the movement speed affected enemies by 40% for three seconds after the stun ends. Shockwave also knocks enemies into the air and this cooldown reduced by five seconds. I'm gonna go with colossal might. Alrighty, so this is the shit that I can get. Oh, hey, look, it's the gold from Plunderstorm. When any player's health falls below 40% health during combat, the idol awakens, uh, dealing moderate physical damage to nearby enemies and taunting them for 4 seconds. Can only- Ah, okay, so this is the actual gear. This is Brand's gear. Got it. Well, that was fun. I actually really enjoyed that. And apparently these things, like, rotate, like, different objectives and, like, different pathways and shit every day. The quarry is overrun with Fungarians. And who's Fungarians? Fault is that? Oh, they mushroom Your people. Edict. We stabilized most of the injured, but many of the earthen you save need more help. Nerubians often fight with corrosive poisons that eat away even our stone bodies. Fungarian flesh has long been used by our healers for its medicinal powers. The Fungarian takeover of the quarry is one unexpected boon uh, to our situation, one we will adapt to. Aldegon looks uh, grimly proud, one we will adopt her. Uh, adapter, uh, as the Unbound always do. 
they can't leave Evan's side. Will you help me? Come sure. back. And uh, the quarry is overrun with Fungarians. All of the mining tunnels are collapsed, and we do not have time to clear them out and rebuild. However, I did spy a good amount of ore on the ground on the way here. It would be a start at repairing the core way, but... Belgrim sighs and grimly looks at the injured, unbound earthen. I am needed here. With Aldegon's people, my people, will, uh, will you gather the ore in my stead? Maybe sure, either. dude, sure. I'll Ah, uh, okay, so these mushroom people are using the same, like, uh, models as the mushroom people from Shadowlands. Okay. Hey, Blizzard, can you stop reminding me that Shadowlands exists, please? I'd rather not think about it. I don't think I'm supposed to be getting the Storm Spirits. Is this supposed to be a, uh, Dragonflight thing? Oh, well, at least this will, uh, help me get, like, the rest of that transmog gear that I was planning on getting. Uh, the last thing I expected today was to see Belgrim, much less receive his help, but I guess since the coreway was damaged, he has no choice. I do not know how to, uh, compute this. It is only logical to accept it. Outagon begins crushing the Fungarian flesh roughly in her stone hands. It becomes a masticated pulp of disturbing... Uh... God. It becomes a masticated pulp disturbingly quickly. Here, mix this with mud and apply it to the injured. As this poultice can mend even our stone bodies. Somehow. See, Evna looks like a pile of rubble. A faintly glowing and mud-like poultice is barely holding her together. Evna's eyes is still and do not respond to light or movement. She's fading. I... My storm rook can take her to Dornegal. Perhaps the healers there can help. Belgrim. Thank you. And there she goes. Yes. I am the former Stone Lord. Uh, it will gonna praise his Moira, Belgrim, and finally, you. I... Thank you. It's been a long time since I've received help from outsiders. Or the Earth Swan. <laughs> oh god, the Nerubians are back. The Nerubians are attacking the Earthen again. We must follow that swarm. I fear we are outnumbered, but if the Earthen can come together and stand with us, we may just have a chance. If you hear anything on it, let Take one of the rams, Belgrim. It's no storm rook, but it's faster than going on foot. I have never ridden one, but how difficult can it... Whoa there! I'll bring the Unbound to the Corway. We'll meet you in Dornagal. Yeah, you guys can take the loser's way. Using a ground mount. I'm gonna fly there. Once I'm out of this goddamn tree. <laughs> Shit. There we go. See, the wounded, the Nerubians are kicking the earth and when they're down. Myra suddenly points to the center of the battlefield. There, in the middle. Is that Xerix? Again? In Illyria? Oh, mountain strength be with me. We've got to help them, Jackson. Uh, these cursed Nerubians are attacking a triage site. Uh, so many wounded and defenseless, and yet it looks like your out, uh, outlanders are putting up a fight. Let's grind every last one of the bugs back into the ground. We Who are you? But of course, another outlander. I'm Wayne Brandt, a tamer of the Cinderbees and creator of Cinderbrew. Of course. <laughs> J just because these are, like, stone robot dwarves doesn't mean they don't drink. Uh, when Brandt squares himself up, uh, as if you uh, should be impressed. It brought barrels of cinder brew to help the injured. I thought drinking it would ease their pain, but for the most, it just caused more burning. Pain. Uh, I refuse to let my brew go to waste. Maybe it can be weaponized. The Nerubians are just bugs, after all. Organic and flammable. This burrow here is perfect. Uh, is a perfect test subject. Well, pick up that cinder brew keg. I have an idea. All right, now toss it. Yeet. Ha! I knew it would work. Let's light them up. All right, so extremely volatile uh, beer. Got it. Hey, Illyria, what's going on? You okay? You need my help? I will crush you. <laughs> I will crush all of you. The Rubians, rise! Where is she? Where is Zalatath? She must suffer for what she has done. 
The core way is severed. You will never reach the harbinger. God, I'm blanking on his name, but boy does Blizzard love uh, that guy. I really am blanking on his goddamn name and I feel terrible. Uh, he's the voice of Reinhardt in uh, Overwatch. He was also the voice of Nizoth and uh, Blackhand in you know, Warcraft. They really love getting him in because he's really good at doing like growly deep voices like that. Uh, we know the Nerubians are in league with Zalatath and we have a fair idea of why they attacked us in Dalaran. They seem bent on destroying the Earth and even kicking them when they're down. But why? Is it because the core way is the key and destroying it would, uh, was nay enough? Maybe what we're doing here, repairing the core way, is just what they didn't want us to do. Uh, we should go back to Dornagol and try to piece this together. You may take your leave. They're retreating. Your cinder brew makes for quite the weapon, Wenbrand. Meet us at the Foundation Hall, champion. The fight against the Nerubians is far from over. Got it. Now, the Earthen Council is reunited. Hopefully they can put the past aside and get, uh, get the Corway repaired. Then hopefully they'll help us with the Nerubians and Salatath. Mind yourself, champion. We need you. Hey, there we go. Theater Troop unlocked. Resonance Crystals available. Cool! Interesting introduction. It is a tad slow. I will say, it is a tad slow. After the two hours, I'm way more interested in the Earthen as a race of people than, you know, than what, like, Blizzard has said. Like, if Blizzard straight up told me, oh yeah, these are rock robots, I would super be into that. There's two things I love in the world, is rocks and robots. But, uh, yeah, more War Within will be on the Friday instead of, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, like we've been doing recently. So, uh, sorry Final Fantasy XIV fans. I bet you can understand, seeing how you guys just had a uh, new expansion. <laughs> I wonder what's better, the World Within or uh, Dawn Trail? Because I've been hearing people really don't like Dawn Trail. 